Hey y'all, happy New Year's. Uh, this means I am less than 30 days until my one-way ticket to Thailand. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna tell a mini story because uh, one question I get asked a lot is, how am I able to stay in Thailand uh, for the year that I'm planning to stay there? Um, and that's because I am technically a Thai citizen. I actually found out that I was officially Thai uh, when I was 25. I didn't know I was legally Thai, and I didn't know until I actually went um, to clean out my mom's foreclosed home. Little backstory, my mom told me that she and grandma were moving to Thailand, which was news and weird to me because growing up all my life, uh, she'd never talked about Thailand, so I didn't understand why she and my grandma would suddenly move there. Um, but then I, you know, find out that uh, the bills were stacking up high for my mom and my grandma. Uh, and being sick in America or having any sort of illness in America is very expensive. And Thailand has universal health care uh, for its citizens. Um, so it makes sense that uh, my mom and my grandma would go there. Um, my grandma is getting old. She has some uh, long-term, you know, illnesses that uh, include medication and... You know, cost of living in Thailand is just a lot cheaper as well. So it makes sense, but I, I don't think it sank in when my mom told me she was moving to Thailand. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure that she told me she was moving to Thailand because I just remember she was already in Thailand when a light bulb in my head went off and it was like, oh, I had some stuff in her house. What happened to the stuff? In the house so the house apparently was um, getting foreclosed on or was in foreclosure I don't know enough about that but I still had the key so I figured okay I'm gonna book a last-minute flight to Atlanta uh, and drive out to my mom's old house and see if I can get in and if I can um, collect any of my stuff so uh, I get there and I put the key in the door, turned, uh, the door opened. Uh, surprisingly, the key worked. I turned on the lights and surprisingly, the electricity is still on. Uh, but all the furniture is gone. Most of the, most of the house uh, was pretty empty. There were a lot of like little things. I think I was just pretending to be like Indiana Jones or Laura Croft uh, trying to find the treasure. Um, and then I found a tan little booklet this one this one lo and behold i open it up and that is a baby picture of me it's a baby picture of me i had never seen this before in my life so it's 25 and i've never seen this before um it's a thai passport it's a clearly a baby picture of me or another baby who looks like me at the very least but it has my name on it it has my date of birth um, I mean, my name is misspelled a little bit just by two letters, but it is my date of birth. Um, and it said it was issued, uh, you know, when I was about two years old. When I flipped through the pages of the visas, um, there's only two stamps and one is a, uh, entering stamp. So uh, I went into, t uh, into Bangkok, uh, when I was two and I left Bangkok when I was four. And I do remember this a little bit. Um, it, I was a little too young, but my biological dad um, took me to Thailand. And I remember starting Thai school. And I remember um, getting so sick one time that I had to go to a Thai hospital because of dust. That's about it. I don't remember too much about being in Thailand, you know, from when I was two to four. Um, I mean, who remembers much from when they were two to four? I don't know. Uh, so anyway, I didn't know that I had a Thai passport. And of course, seeing this uh, in my mom's closet, uh, and she had never told me about it, and she had left this in there. I was like, okay, maybe this is like an old document. It doesn't mean anything. Um, but I did call my mom immediately and asked her, I was like, hey, what is this? Uh, and she's like, oh, yeah, I think your biological dad got it for you when you um, were little and you lived with him for a little bit. Uh, and, of course, I'm asking her, like, does this mean 
I can get a new passport? Does this mean I'm a Thai citizen? Can I use this to go travel? Do I, like, what can I do with this passport? And she, of course, didn't have any of the answers. Anyway, so um, I get back to D.C. D.C. luckily has uh, a Thai embassy, so, and it wasn't that far from where I lived. I walked over there, and then, of course, they're like, you got to go to the consulate office. I didn't know there was a difference between an embassy and a consulate. Now I know. So I uh, went to the consulate office. I walked in, and the lady's like, how can I help you? And I was like, well, I have this passport. Can I renew it? Uh, after some back and forth, uh, she realized that I can't read or write or speak Thai. So she told me to just go sit in the lobby and wait. <laughs> So I did, and as I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, oh, crap, like, they're probably going to escort me out of this building because people going in trying to get a passport, and they're not really Thai, I mean, that feels like it would raise some flags. So I thought someone was going to, like, come and escort me out uh, for trying to pass myself off as this cute little baby because uh, this baby could be anybody. This, is, this could be any Thai baby. Babies all look alike, don't they? And then eventually the same lady came out to the lobby and she had a form in her hand and she started asking me a series of questions and she actually was filling out the form for me in Thai. Um, and then she took me into the back room and took my photo and then she said, we'll give you a call in a couple of weeks when your new passport is ready. And then part of me kept thinking, okay, they're going to call me eventually and say, yeah, you're not really Thai. So we're not going to renew your passport. And then the weeks went by and eventually they did call. And they called and said that my passport was ready. I went uh, back to the consulate office and picked up a new Thai passport. That was about 10 years ago and I've had this new Thai passport since. I mean, I have another one now too. Um, but because this one's ex expired, that's how long I've had this. Um, but this really opened a lot of possibilities for me like it, it just a massive door opened up in my life um, obviously I was able to use this to go visit my mom and my grandma I also used it to travel to other countries like China Vietnam Russia Laos Cambodia um, so other countries that are a little bit easier for um, Thai citizens to go to uh, I was able to get my Thai national ID card um, and now in 30 days, I'm able to move to Thailand without a visa because I have this and I have my Thai ID card. My life would be completely on a different track if I didn't go to my mom's foreclosed house and pretend to be Laura Croft sifting through all this junk in this house trying to find um, sentimental treasure. All right, y'all, um, more videos to come. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, T minus uh, 30 days until I go to Thailand.